now we are ready to understand science of food now what is our aim to live principle and philosophy of kriya yoga that is not to harm anyone i want to maintain this visible presence of god if you are trying to disturb another manifestation of god then this is called inhumanity how to understand it more clearly let us try to observe the behavior of seeds grains and associated part let us have corn seed one try to boil corn seed or crush it and eat it then you will find there is no any pain in that the seed is under effect of anesthesia having no pain inside when the same seed we are growing and it is become plant if you are cutting and plucking the immature corn as we like it we like soft corn immature corn when you steam it boil it in the process of boiling is steaming then we are creating pain in them by giving pain to anyone if we satisfy our hunger this is called inhumanity therefore when we eat corn in this style this is called practicing inhumanity then we will not have peace why we are doing it because of ignorance we are not knowing it now let us decide we will eat corn but mature seed not immature then one mistake is removed let us have another example we like eat a raw vegetable let us take example of carrot when we eat carrot let us find out the nature of seed of carrot and carrot what we eat when seed of carrot try to observe it when it chew it or boil it or crush it the seeds are under effect of anesthesia they don't get any pain when we are eating carrot that is a root when we sow the seed we get a root and leaves if we are eating that yellow part of the root then we are disturbing life cycle they get pain when you cut the carrot with the knife they get a pain by giving pain to anyone we satisfy our hunger this is inhumanity this is against path of self realization then let us sow the carrot seed let maintain its growth when carrot will reach to the full mature stage there will be flowering then there will be fruits when fruits become mature the leaves and stem and root dried then harvest that seed try to eat that seed as we eat mustard seed sesame seed many other seeds then we are not disturbing we are not giving any pain to the carrot consciousness this is the way how to eat but somebody was reading lessons of paramhansa yogananda where it is given that eating the raw vegetable raw fruits is a good then paramhansa yogananda manifested before me very nicely and he requested me to change it and therefore i am changing it because he demanded i am confessing it i he said many things i don't say other things i am telling only one point he has requested me to change this paragraph this philosophy and only he pointed out to me to find out this in the bible 
in Genesis 1.29, 30. It is given very clearly. Our food is seed and grains and mature fruits with the seed. Therefore, Paramahansa Gandha requested and became very happy that I am fulfilling his dream, is spreading Kriyaga in India, then he requested me to just add this philosophy into the lessons. Therefore, remember, suppose that if uh, Yogananda will come, as you imagine, he will edit everything. He wrote Autobiography of Yogi in 1946. After that, he edited three times. Last edition was 1951. Therefore, Prophet comes again uh, again to edit the teaching according to the understanding. When Yoganda was there, he was complete vegetarian. He opened vegetarian restaurant. But still he was offering egg because somebody cannot live without non veg then he was offering. And he was cooking himself to give it. Therefore, remember, when Jesus Christ came, he edited teaching of Krishna Bhagavan, Buddha, in different way according to the present time. When Krishna came, he edited teaching of the Ram. He taught the same thing, but he changed according to the present condition. Therefore, Paramahansa Yogananda is just requested to add this point and I did it. We had very long talk, many things, but it is not advised to tell. But I am telling only one point. That do not have this confusion that in the Sarah lesson these things are given, then it is the complete no. Second thing, regarding the dairy, we human beings having our own mother, we are authorized to drink of my own mother, I am not authorized to drink of anybody other's mother. Let the child of the cow should have the cow milk, but cows having 20 liters, how child will drink all? Cows having 20 liters because we are holding cow, we are tying it. When try to leave children and cow together in the forest, the best is starts reducing its shape and size. Because each an organ is having habit, suppose that you are doing bumping exercise, you will find that this triceps, biceps will start bumping. When it will attain its bigger size, then this, this have a habit. Biceps, triceps will have habit to remain the same. In the same way, each and every structure is living with the habit. Then we have changed the genetic character of the cows by infusing something. Then we have big, big the breast and having good amount of the milk. Because when we sell, we get money. We think we need that ignorance should go. Money will not remove ignorance. It is the teaching of the Jesus Christ will remove ignorance. Food will come automatically what I want. When I am born, milk came in my mother. Good care. You should believe when we are each day newborn, twice born each day, then we will be looked after very nicely. When our spiritual growth is stagnant, we feel stress. Suppose that we are grade ninth student, Next year again ninth, next year again ninth. From ten years we are in the ninth. You will feel stress or not. If you are growing spiritually, now my growth is stopped. You will have a lot of stress. Therefore, twice born means every day next birth. Even every moment next birth. When you are born twice, then you will have the power to see the kingdom of God. Moment you will see it, then you have to enter into that. When you are born of his spirit and water, then you will have power to enter into that. When you enter into that, keep journey on till you realize I and God are one. Now what is the conclusion of the science of food? Our food is grains and seeds 
मैच्योर एंड फ्रूट्स मैच्योर इफ एनी अदर थिंग्स वी आर ईटिंग वी आर डिस्टर्बिंग आवर सिस्टम स्टिल इफ माई माइंड इज नॉट अबिंग हैबिट ऑफ ईटिंग दोज थिंग्स देन डू नॉट टॉर्चर योर माइंड Try to reduce quantity of meat slowly. You reduce quantity of immature food slowly. Then after few years, you will find that you are eating exactly what Bible teaches. Do not touch it. Or mind, mind is also great friend. God has become mind. If mind is habitual of certain food, do not try to give stress to the mind. Eat the same, but request reduce the quantity, please. You know, I have twenty cigar every day. Oh, please, can you reduce one? Yes, yes, nineteen is okay. Mind will accept. Oh, please, one more. Then tomorrow eighteen will be okay. A time will come we will have only five cigar in one day. Then morning, evening, one, one. Then I will make half, half, half morning, half evening. Then I will take only half. Then goodbye. This is the way not to torture mind and wisdom also. We got twenty-four elders; they are one with God. They have decided together and manifest in this form head to toes. This is about science of food. The greatest food, Kriya Gamrit is. Please do not miss this practice.